you may think like, oh, I have come so far from the Lord. I think God will not accept me. But if you always go to God, he accepts you with arms so, so embracing you and telling you, welcome, welcome, welcome. And after you come to Christ, he leads you, he draws you to the word, word of God. Through the word, he will teach you and direct you on which way you should go and guide you. The problem of uh, many uh, recent convert Christians are, is that they go to YouTube, they go to videos, especially on videos of prophecies, um, watching videos saying that God spoke to me this, God spoke to me that, but I don't disagree with all of them, but we must be careful because there are the um, words that are inspired not by the Lord, but by itself or from the other spirits. If you need hope, if you need guidance, if you need what, if you need discernment, you have to go to the Word. People ask for discernment, and they don't read the Word. They actually go to so many different sermons, so many different prophecies, and they lose even more discernment. They become very confused. The way to earn discernment and wisdom is to get into the Word. Soak yourself into the Word. I can say this with all of my heart because this is my experience. I tried to do so many things, learn so much because I was I was on very fire for the Lord. But the more I, inst uh, the more I watched uh, different things instead of Word, it confused me. But the moment when I really gave myself to the Word, ten chapters, twenty chapters, thirty chapters. Those days were the days that when I really learned who God was. And that's when I really learned, that when I really was able to discern the situations, the people, the things happening in the world. Do you get what I mean? You have to get to the word if you want discernment, not the, not the men's word. You have to go to the word by yourself and sit down and read. You have to read continuously, read and read and read. Because when you start to read, the word, um, the word is inspired by the Holy Spirit, and the if Holy Spirit is in you, if Christ Spirit is living in you, He will guide you and teach you, and He will let you know what needs to be known by you. He will give you wisdom to understand the word, and um, and if you cannot focus, if there's distraction, read it out loud sometimes, or write down while you're writing, or write down the things that came to your heart deeply, and as the word mounts up. As time to time to time, you will be very surprised how much you grow, you grew and change. The Lord said, um, eat my flesh. Can you understand that reading his word is eating him? The way to abide him. You're looking, you're searching and you're looking for the way to love him. You want to know how much you can love him more and more day by day. And it is to know him. It is to know how much he loved you first. It is, it, it, it just, his love, you know, loving God comes from knowing him and knowing how much he loved us. And that comes from knowing the word, reading the word. And especially you have to pray together. You have to spend time with him. You have to talk to him. You have to listen to him. You have to spend your time in the secret closet. That is the, that is the absolute place where we have the breakthrough. Without the secret closet, without the without our personal time with him, there's just nothing that can be done. Uh, without being close to the Spirit of God, there is nothing that can be done. All the good works are done by God. And that's why we have to give him full control. And this comes from our personal time with him. And today you turned on YouTube because probably you're bored. You want to know more about God. You want to love God. Um, you want to watch Christian content, all of those things. But the ultimate place where you have to go right now is your secret place with the Lord. You have to read the word and you have to pray, especially in this time, time of confusion, rather than going on to YouTube and listening to so many people, the best place that we have to go is to his word and to pray and asking him to give us his heart and really asking him to give us his his cry and his tears so we can intercede for the people outside but also at the same time the people will know later 
the fruits of those who stayed in the closet with him and people who didn't. Those who um, had relationship with him in secret, plot, in, in secret closet in person, they will have boldness and peace in the midst of sufferings and confusions and they will know what to do. If you need hope right now, if you need, if you need to, to be loved right now, if you need solution right now, where you have to go is to the word. If you want provision from God, but you don't know if God will provide you, so you're very confused and afraid. If you have fear, where you have to go is not prophetic videos, it's word. Go to verse, go to Matthew and read the verse that says, seek my righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Hold that verse. When you need the promise, you have to go to word. Don't depend on men to hear the love of God. Don't depend on men to hear the promise of God. Don't depend on men. For men will fail you. Men makes mistake. Even me. That's why we need the word of God. The word of God must be the super authority um, which rules our lives. We cannot just hear from it and then shudder and shake when that person says that and when that person says this. But we have to go to word right now and pray to God. Pray to God. Pray to God and understand His love toward us and toward this nation. The things will go as the Word says, as the Bible says. But remember Christ's promise. Fear not, for I have overcome the world. And He loves you so much. And He's calling us to a deeper, deeper relationship with Him. And he wants to be with us. He wants to sit down and talk to us and have conversations together. He is calling us to listen to him. Because he's speaking. But he's speaking in the word. And later, the more we read the word, we'll be able to under really hear the voice of God that speaks in the spirit and in the heart. Don't just listen the voices in the spirit realm or in, the, in your prayer and just think all is from the Lord. Discern with the word of God. And the more you interact and encounter God through the prayer and word, you will you will able to discern better. And you will see how God is so holy. God is so powerful. God is so compassionate, merciful, so righteous and awesome God. God bless you.